Салют, братень, ты на канале не карате. Рад тебя приветствовать. И спешу напомнить, бокс не карате. Тут думать надо. Есть о чем подумать. Только-только закончил смотреть бой Бектимир Меликузиева, Давида Зигара. Все нормально. Бектимир вернулся и оформил нокаут по печени. Прекрасный нокаут во втором раунде. Правда, первый раунд весь в разведке, в раздергиваниях. В ожидании, и я уже начал думать, что боится парень, никак не может начать, но, видишь, выжидал, прочитывал и считал, все филигранно закончил. Ну, что говорить, лучше я тебе покажу, но прежде напомню, что всех любителей азартной ставки ждет приветственный бонус в первом закрепленном комментарии. Наш кореша из компании Melbet дарят до 10 300 рублей по промокоду Некарате. Так что, братюнь, настоятельно рекомендую первый закрепленный комментарий. И бой Бектимира Меликузиева. Погнали. That's what getting clipped does to you, but that, that's what you want to see. A little bit of technique and respect for the person in front of you. Well, Sinisa, that's exactly what you want to see out of back of the pole. Exactly. Just a little change in the stance. Yeah, so this fighting style, you know, you can't keep relying on your power. And I like to see him keep his hands higher, not throw so many wide shots, and add some head movement. And as, you know, he said, be more cautious. You know, all these Uzbek fighters, they're, they're power punchers. They, they can be aggressive in, in spots, but they do all, all that out of brilliant footwork. So no matter no matter how aggressive Melikuzia wants to be, it all comes from his foundation, the, the foot speed. Well, and particularly for this weight, Melikuzia is still a special technical talent. The way that he uses his footwork, the angles, and the lateral movement that he can use on the entry, that's not something you typically see at these weights. And something you typically don't hear from a Beck the Bully fighter moves this early because we know he's aggressive, but yeah, we, we're seeing a different bully, a smarter bully here. Here in round one, as he starts to get his jab working. Zagara, we've seen him in recent fights get into a lot of trouble, get walked back to the ropes. And he could find some comfort there, but that kind of approach probably will not work against Malakuzi. Yes, that's why I believe this fight won't last the distance, because Zagara's feet are just a little too slow, and, and he puts himself in a bad position, already putting himself in the ropes uh, plenty of times in this first round. Yeah, Zagara's vulnerable in the early round, so, you know, Beck the Bully, of course, wants to start off thoroughly feeling out of man, but by the second round, he should be able to step it up, because Zagara has been stopping through the last four fights. 30 seconds left to go here in round one. Very little action. You know, maybe fair to ask whether this kind of cautiousness is rooted back in what happened to him against Gabriel Rosado. Uh, definitely. Final 10 seconds of this light heavyweight contest. Seconds down. Two. Up. Back live here in the Galen Center in the midst of March Madness. This is the home of the USC Trojans basketball and volleyball teams. Dr. Melikusiev and David Zagara going at it here in a 10-round light heavyweight contest. And now Beck the Bully starting to get that left hand going. And he connects on a perfect body shot. Zagara writhing in pain on one knee. And that's the first body shot. See Beck the Bully with his team from India, California. Let's take an uppercut of a 45-degree punch right in the liver area. And believe me, Zagara's going to remember that.